guys, it's Remy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with another Instagram food recipe video. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a series that I started on my channel recently where I basically show you guys how to make the really delicious looking Instagram food at home on your own. This is my third video in this series. So if you guys haven't seen the other two, check them out. I'll have them linked down below. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make DIY sushi donuts, which are so good. Edible cookie dough ice cream, which I saw, which was absolutely amazing. And then sushi burritos, which are one of my absolute favorite things as well. Before I start the video though, I just want to give a big shout out to Audible for sponsoring this video. If you guys know me in real life, you know how obsessed I am with Audible. No joke. I promise I'm not just saying this because this video is sponsored. Literally, while I was doing my hair preparing to make this video for you guys, I was listening to Audible. That's my girl Anna Kendrick right there. So yeah, I use Audible all the time. I know this sounds really lame, but I get really excited. Like I'm going to go drive to my grandma's birthday dinner after this. And I get excited when I'm driving far distances because I can just listen to my audiobooks on the go. So yeah, I like to listen to them while I'm getting ready, while I'm driving, basically anytime. As you guys just saw, I'm currently listening to Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick, which again, I love her. And I'm super excited because Audible has been awesome enough to give you guys a free 30 day trial. All you have to do is just go to the link down below which is audible.com slash Remy and you guys can get the free trial. So yeah, be sure to check out the link. I promise you, you will love it. Seriously, it has changed my life and I promise again, I'm not just saying this because I'm sponsored. I genuinely use it every day. If you guys like this video and you like this series and you want to see more Instagram food videos, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. Okay guys, so for our first recipe, we're going to make some sushi donuts, which are absolutely delicious and they're really easy to make. All you need is some nori or some sushi seaweed. <laughs> also some cucumbers and basically any fillings and toppings you wanna put on. I have some masago, which are fish eggs, rice vinegar, some red cabbage or purple cabbage, some cooked white rice, as well as like sesame seeds. I have normal and black ones, sushi grade fish, and a donut pan. So I'm gonna start by just preparing my sushi rice and that is just putting in some rice vinegar into some already cooked rice and this is nice and hot and we're just gonna go ahead and mix it all together and then put it aside to cool down. And once my rice is cooled down, I'm going ahead and wetting my hands with some water and this is just going to prevent the rice from sticking and I'm just going ahead and putting my rice into a greased donut pan that I got from the craft store. You can also find these online or at a bake shop or something like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and press the rice into the pan and then you wanna go ahead and keep re-wetting your hands and this is just gonna prevent the rice from sticking. Trust me, it will make your life so much easier. So yeah, I just went ahead and kept on putting the rice into all the little donut pans and then I went ahead and stuck this in the fridge just to harden it and make it easy to flip out. On to our topping, so I'm going ahead and just cutting up all of my vegetables. I'm gonna to top them with some cucumbers, as well as some red cabbage, or purple cabbage, I don't know what it's called. Also some raw fish, as you guys saw, basically everything I showed you before, and you just wanna go ahead and prep and make sure all your ingredients are really nice and fresh. Also, side note, you wanna make sure that everything is cut really nice and flat so they can just lay on top perfectly. Now after all of the ingredients are prepped and our rice is ready, all that's left to do now is just go ahead and top the donuts with whatever you want. So I have some fresh salmon, tuna, masago, sesame seeds, cucumber, just go crazy and put whatever you want on top of them. Be sure that the colors are nice and bright because that's gonna look awesome on Instagram and that's about it. They are super delicious and easy to eat. You can also serve them up with a little bit of seaweed underneath as like a little mini plate thing and that's it. Moving on to Instagram recipe number two. This is cookie dough ice cream and this blew up on Instagram. What you're gonna need for this is some sugar cones, some milk, butter, sprinkles, vanilla extract, sea salt, brown sugar, a cup of flour, and some chocolate chips. Now we're just gonna start by creaming together our softened butter and our packed brown sugar and all the measurements will be listed down below. 
And after those are creamed together, we're just gonna sift in a cup of flour and then give that a good stir and you're gonna have like a really crumbly texture. But just keep mixing and it'll eventually turn into a dough-like texture. Then you wanna go ahead and add in some vanilla extract and a sprinkle of sea salt and then you're gonna have actual looking cookie dough. Go ahead and sprinkle in any chocolate chips and sprinkles of your choice. I loved adding the sprinkles because as we all know, I love the color and it just made it super, super cute. So go ahead and mix that all up and then once everything is nice and well combined and it looks good, take a sugar cone and you can fill it up the bottom with just a normal spoon and then move on to an actual cookie scoop and go ahead and put some scoops on top of your cone like actual ice cream and it looks so good and realistic and it is delicious. Then all you have to do is just top it off with some more cute sprinkles. I chose cute little star ones and then get ready to take some pictures for your Instagram. This literally looks like the one that you could get at the bakery in New York City that people wait hours for and you can make it from the comfort of your own home and eat the whole bucket if you really want. Don't do that, but you could if you wanted to. <laughs> And last but not least, we have sushi burritos, which I remember when I first saw this on Instagram in high school, I went nuts for them and they're even more popular now. So you're gonna start by taking out some saran wrap and just putting that down on your cutting board and taking your nori sheets. And I'm going ahead and sticking two together and using water as my glue because this is going to be massive. And then I'm gonna cover just one of them with some extra sushi rice that we had left over from the donuts earlier. Then once my rice is down, I went ahead and sprinkled on some futakake, which is like a rice seasoning from Japan, but you can also just add whatever you want to these. I added in some salmon and like tons of vegetables and basically I just added in different things that are different colors just to make it extra pretty and you know, have some extra flavor and some extra nutrition. I added in like lots of vegetables and things like that. So just go crazy. I have like red cabbage, masago, lettuce, ginger, radishes, just tons of stuff and it looks really pretty on camera and also also tastes really good in real life. So once it looks like your nori can't hold anything more, go ahead and start rolling it like you would a normal burrito and use a saran wrap to really make it tight because you're gonna want it to be as tight as possible. Also, I added some water to the second sheet of nori to make sure that it was all nice and sticky and it would all just hold together. So I just kept rolling and kept pinching and kept rolling and kept pitching. And then once it was done, you can go ahead and cut it in half and you have a sushi burrito. Feel free to add whatever you want to the inside. Again, I just love all the colors that are in this and it was absolutely absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. 